The Assets panel allows you to save designs or custom elements that you might want to use in future designs. It also has a collection of icons for you to use. The Assets panel is hidden by default when opening the app, so to open it, we need to look in the Window menu and select Assets. Let's drag the panel out and take a look. It is made up of categories, which can be found in this drop-down menu. And within each category are subcategories. It is preloaded with a range of icons, which are great for creating infographics like this one. Simply hold the left mouse button and drag them out of the panel and drop them onto your artboard or workspace. When objects are saved to the Assets panel, they are not saved as flattened images. If I double-click into the object, I can access the layers that it's made up of, meaning I can customise the colours and edit them with the Move or the Node tool. You can also create your own assets. Click on the Panel options and select Create New Category. I'm going to call this category Furniture. You can sort your assets into subcategories through the Options menu to keep them organised. And you can rename these in their own options menus, as well as delete them or move them up and down to reorder them. I'm going to call this subcategory Chairs. To add a design to the Assets panel, select the Move tool, either from the Tools panel or press V and left click drag to select all the elements of your design. Make sure you group these in the Layers panel so they won't be split into separate assets. Right click and select Group. I'm going to double click on the group to rename it and press Enter to commit the change. Now open the options in the subcategory where you want to save it and click Add from Selection. Now because the object is grouped and named in the Layers panel, the asset is named. However, if you'd like to rename it, you can do so by right-clicking on it. You now have a saved asset. You can drag it out as many times as you need and it will remain individually editable. You can save multiple assets at once to create a library for future workflows. With the Move tool selected, simply click drag to select all the elements and then click Add from Selection. And here you can see we've very quickly created a library of assets which will remain here on the Assets panel even if the workspace is closed or a new document is created. When navigating large asset libraries, Naming the assets is key, as you can use the search bar to quickly find specific assets. So that's it, a quick look at creating and using assets. Thanks for watching.